I just I've cooked more on this one than any of the other ones, so I know this one a little bit better. Right. I know all pretty well, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. but this one I could really make this one do exactly right. what I wanted to. Um, and it's so small with such a good firebox on it, it'll hold its heat for a really long time. I can walk away for an 45 minutes on this one, whereas opposed to the big ones, or even, oh, that one does pretty good too. Um, the bigger ones, you know, it's like every five minutes you're throwing a log on there. I mean, it's just, they just eat up so much wood. Um, so anyway, so this is number two, and then we'll go back over there. It took three weeks, because now we have employees, you know, people working and stuff, and I'm able to get out you know, I go work on stuff a little more yeah. often, uh, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, this one's probably about three months old. Um, yeah, it doesn't even it doesn't even have a lot What's of rust on, on there. This is three months old. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you know, and this was the first thousand gallon one that I made, getting ready for the addition. So we're gonna have four of these in there, and that one up there is named Rusty Shackleford. Um, and it's just like this one. I've got a third one. Yeah, should finish it up probably Wednesday. I'm working on the trailer and I got the smokestack left to do. And then start another one this week. So that'll give us four of these things. It's still going so and, and I think your, your finger is in front of the flash. So, so does that increase your... Yes, it does. Uh, at that point, right now we do about 1,300 pounds a day. That's what we had today. Actually, I guess we had a little bit more because you guys. Um, nah, it's probably like 10 pounds though. Not really. Um, so this will put us up to a maximum capacity of about 100 briskets, 96 briskets, to be exact. If they're 15 pounders. So that's going right to keep now, you open until two in the afternoon. <laughs> we're normally open until 2:30 or three. Um, 2.30 is just about normal for us. Today we're up to about 2.40. Um, and we shoveled out about 60 briskets. Um, so, yeah, 60, 64 is about our max right now. So is, the trick, is there a trick to the briskets yeah, that you use? What's that? Is there a trick to the briskets that you use? Like a trick to, the, to what kind? Do you get a special kind of briskets? Um, other than being all natural, you know, just really nice stuff. Uh, we use Angus. It's all natural, no antibiotics, no growth hormones, none of that stuff. Um, it's all considered high choice, uh, maybe bottom end prime. Um, so yeah, I mean it's really it's it's really good stuff, you know, and it's it's certified humane and all that. And it's about the most ethical uh, company you can get okay. from. So which is cool. And how much of the fat do you leave on it? Just about a quarter to a half inch. Got it. <laughs> Somewhere around in there. It depends. If we got real fatty ones, we may cook them over there. Um, if they're real fatty, you can flip it upside down for a little bit, and, which is technically right side up, I guess. Um, depending on how you're thinking about it, I guess. You may be making like four I am less tolerant of fatty than those Yeah. Well, I am but, too. But I mean, I would like never order fatty at a barbecue. No, but you are. But, but you are stuffed. I, if right. it's rendered properly, no, it's pretty good. It's, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> like butter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it like that. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah. Can't Why can't you cook it hot I, enough? I can't eat barbecue anymore. <laughs> anywhere else now. You've ruined nice. us. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> Score. So what is the temperature in here that you're cooking them at? Uh, it's probably about 300 right now. It's at 325. Yeah. You don't do that the whole time, do you? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's cooler here. This is this is the one we go by. Right there. So it's at like 320, 325. Um, yeah, maybe we do, maybe we don't. It just kind of depends on the briskets. What depends on the weather. Um, it depends on if they're thick, if they're thin, if they're fatty, if they're lean, if they're big, if they're little. Um, if, you know, this time of year they get weird because the drought from last summer is affecting us and the cold weather from the ranches mm. is affecting the tightness of the meat. So we, we cook at different temperatures to try to mm. compensate for it. Pretty much just try to wing it all the time. It's, Do you have a fan, or is it just got some, like, natural draft? No, it's, it's all natural draft. There's there's no fans or electricity or anything. It just sucks the heat into it. Yep. It's, uh, because that's, it needs to be a little bit taller, but that's seven, no, that's a, that's seven and a half feet long <coughs> at ten inch diameter. And, like, that one over, if you look at, at Rusty over there, that one's eight inch diameter, but it's about nine and a half feet long. So you kind of just adjust. I'm about to put a ten inch on that one. Because the eight's not quite working right, but um, yeah, just a natural. I mean, the idea—it's kind of like an intake uh, versus exhaust kind of ratio for an internal combustion engine. Like you want the balance about right so it naturally pulls. 
You're recording all of this, right? You should know that I checked in on Facebook here, and a friend of mine from home in Jersey said, ooh, I like smoky bones. Yeah. yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a perfect know. place, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Isn't that Darden? It's awful. That's the guys that have Olive Garden, I think. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> that's like saying, I love, I love seafood. Let's go to Red Lobster. Just, yeah, right. <laughs> Thanks for another Darden restaurant. Yeah, yeah. I'm from Winnipeg, Canada, and we just had a um, famous Dave's open up. Oh, um, man. And everybody is all excited. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> Nice and we're getting I excited mean, about Red Lobster. Cool. I don't eat barbecue anymore anyway. I, I snack around here. But Let's find out, yeah, we find out you're a vegetarian. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So what's in here right now? You got briskets going? Yeah, there's yeah. briskets in here. They'll start coming off here in a few hours, and then we'll let them rest and get the ribs on here. And I don't know what time So how many hours a day do you work? Because it sounds 2 a.m. to um, 10 p.m. Well, I'm, I'm not the, the per like, I didn't even cook anything last night. Okay. I just worked lunch today. Um, but the two days before I got here at 2 a.m. and then left at 8. No, no, yesterday I got here at 2 a.m. and I left at about 9.30 at night. Um, but that's kind of a long day. That's abnormally long. That's a long day. Um, yeah. And yeah, we but, thank you, know, you very much. On average, yeah, well, I don't know, 60, 70, 80 hours a week. Wow. That's bad. You know, Brian, Brian up there works five nights a week, probably 10 to 12 hour shifts each night. Um, so, yeah, there are definitely some long hours because there's very few of us, you know, like I'll, I can do the morning part. Well, I, I guess I'm the only person that can do all of it, um, you know, but I mostly do the, the 2 a.m.s because then I'll hang out for lunch, you know, and then on a day that I'm cutting for lunch, I try not to do the 2 a.m. And Fiore, the other guy back there, somewhere in there with the glasses on, um, he'll do the morning, or this guy Andy is like the main morning guy. So we kind of switch. Everybody's kind of got their strengths, and they just kind of naturally migrate towards certain shifts that they happen to be good at, or you know, are crazy enough to wake up at, at one thirty in the morning. To get How to do you split the work when you travel with all this stuff? Like, what do you do? You it keep is this open? Very difficult. Because okay. um, you stay open here, right? We stay open here. Uh, like had you to close went to down once. We were closed when. Oh wait a minute. We were open for Meetopia. When I was at Meetopia, we were open for one day. We were closed for one day uh, because he, Brahm's the main nighttime cook. Um, so if he's not here, that's just, yeah, it, it gets kind of funky sometimes. But I also cooked in Portland a couple days after Meetopia, and we had to close for that. Um, so we closed for a week. We closed for like 10 days every year. Just everybody calls it vacation. Yeah, I normally don't cook yeah. elsewhere. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, and then we closed for a weekend once for Pitmasters. Just because I had nobody to cut for lunch, you know, so, yeah. Oh, yeah? So how, how, how early do you have to show up to get anything? Anything or something? A normal day. <laughs> um, a normal day where we don't have a private room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, when does the line? Um, yeah. Maybe on a slow day, like 9, 30, 10. Um, like Saturday, I think it's the first day I get it. But how Sunday. about this coming Monday? What time should we be? <laughs> Monday's closed. Um, <laughs> closed on Mondays, right? You're closed on Mondays? Closed on Mondays. Yeah. Right. So, on Sundays, what time do you have to show up? Uh, man, the weather's really pretty and stuff, and it seems to be getting earlier by the day. Um, I'd probably 9.30. Okay. 9.30, 10, somewhere around in there. When's the uh, <clears throat> our thing start? 10. 10? Okay, so oh, we gotta gotta get back to work. Oh, thank you.